Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, of course. For today's video, I'm going to go ahead and do my um, setting sprays, priming sprays, sprays in general, declutter video. There are going to be two categories. One category is going to be products that I'm going to be decluttering, and that means either I'm going to declutter to friends, family, um, maybe sell, I don't know, I don't think so, um, or I'm going to put it in my kit. And then the next pile, obviously, is going to be the makeup setting sprays that I'm going to keep for myself. So let's go ahead and get started. If you guys are new to this series that I have on my channel, I've already done my eyeshadow shadows blushes bronzers and foundation declutter videos so i'll have that above in the cards and in the description box if you guys want to check those out basically my whole uh, mindset of this whole thing is no games being played like yes yes no no not just to keep to keep you know so let's do this you guys seem to enjoy so let's go okay so this is basically where i keep all my makeup setting sprays priming sprays and all that jazz i really don't like where it's at because i feel like it's hard to reach and it's just not appealing you know i feel like after i declutter i'll probably find a good designated spot for these guys where they look appealing and beautiful to look at and they're not just sitting there just to sit you know all right so i think i'm just gonna you know move like my perfumes and stuff so we can have like easy access and we're gonna get started so firstly i have these three mario badescu um sprays so i typically like to use these before my makeup after my makeup in between on days that i just want a little bit of a pick-me-up i really really love these a ton i specifically love this one you guys can see it's the one i use the most then i enjoy the purple one and then the pink one i know a ton of people like the pink you know out of everything but this one is ultimately my favorite one i'm gonna go ahead and keep all of them because i enjoy them they feel really nice and refreshing on the skin i have a full in-depth skincare brand review for mario badescu so i'll leave that above in the cards or in the description box if you want to check it out but i'm gonna keep these three little guys because i'm obsessed i've repurchased a few of them and i'm gonna continuously do it because i love i love them okay next one that i have here is the mac fix plus this is just in the limited edition packaging but it's the basic fix plus setting spray i'm almost out of this and i would probably repurchase this i think it's amazing on clients and on myself so i'm gonna keep that okay let's tackle some that i'm gonna get rid of so we can totally be like yo like where is it not no games being played like let's see that shit here you go so these are the three color pop setting sprays i had two other ones uh where which i got rid of already and i just think i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these because i really just don't like them no one speaks about these tell me right now if anyone speaks about them no one does i love the fact that they're in glass you know bottles and the spray is great but i just feel like they burn my face it doesn't soothe my skin whatsoever and i don't find that it has necessarily like setting aspects to it you know what I mean? Like, no. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and get rid of these three guys. The packaging is so aesthetically pleasing and I love it. But maybe, I don't know. I'll just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, bye. Next one that I have here is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I really enjoyed this a few months back. I love the spray because it's like a one-stop shop type of thing. You don't have to constantly press it. But um, I use probably half of it. And I think it's nice. It's not one that I'm dying over. But um, I'm okay to get rid of it basically. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Probably give it to a friend or something. Okay, next two I have here are these. These are the Smashbox Primer Waters. So I have a full size that I picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty event. And then I have this small deluxe size, which I like to fill up in case, you know, I'm going traveling or whatever, um, or to take with me in my purse. I like to use these before my makeup, after my makeup, and I just think it sits well on the skin, so I'm gonna keep both of these guys. Okay, next one that I have here is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is one where the nozzle is shit. Like, it just sprays in one area on your face, and it's kind of like, hello? Um, it smells pretty good, but let me see. It actually has maybe like a little bit of an alcoholic kind of scent to it. So I use a little bit as you guys can see. I like it. I'm not dying over it. Will I pick it up if it's ever on sale? Possibly. But I feel like at this point in my life, I'm just not using it. And it's just a waste to be sitting over here. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this and give this to a friend. Mm, what else? What else? I don't want to touch anything because I don't know what I want to get rid of. But okay, let's do this one. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I really enjoy this. I've recommended it to so many people. I think mine is going bad because... I I don't know it has like the stickyish feel to it and it's just not performing as well as it used to but i really really enjoy the photo focus setting spray i think that if you're on a budget this is amazing i think that i have maybe like a quarter left but it's kind of going bad like i feel like it's just not the same and i used it as much as i could but it's really affordable so if i want to repurchase it in the future or something i could um but i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this next one that i have here is this this is the wet and wild photo focus primer water spray i love the packaging of this the spray is really nice I still didn't have a major chance to use it because it's like so stuffed here. So now that I'm decluttering, I'll have a chance to use everything I own. 
I'm gonna go ahead and keep it, of course, because I just purchased it, but I'll take it from there. If I see that it's shit, I'll keep you guys posted and I'll let you know. Um, but if I think it's amazing, I'll let you know too. So I'm gonna keep that. By the way, guys, the back over here is hair products. So we're pretty much just focusing on the setting sprays, just for reference. Okay, next one that I have here is this. This is the Setting Mist by Sugar Goop. This has SPF 50. You know, I don't know, like, I think, I know obviously it's important to wear SPF, but I feel like this has a very alcoholic, like, artificial scent, and I just feel like, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable putting it on my face, you know what I'm saying? A part of me kind of feels like I'd rather get burnt than put this on, because I feel like it's kind of defeating the purpose, you know? Um, anyways, I'm just not really into this, I feel like the scent is a bit too strong for me. Like, if they change the scent, or I don't know what, I'll probably like it, but... For now, I'm just not really into it. I'll probably give it to someone who will enjoy it. So, declutter. Next one that I have here is this one. This is the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. Um, this is really affordable and I wanted to test it out obviously because of how affordable it was. One thing I really hate about this is the nozzle is shit. Like, absolute. It like spritzes in one area as if like it's bug spray or something and it's like, do me a favor. So it kind of like messes things up, especially after you really worked hard on a makeup look. It's like, what's going on over here? It kind of turns me off from this product. Um, and then also, I purchased this maybe like six months ago. Um, it did have a good scent, but I recently sprayed it again, and it kind of has an after scent of like a car service, and I'm not about that way. If you guys know car service smells, get me nauseous. I'm very bad in cars, planes, trains, all that stuff. So uh, I'm not about this. Maybe it went bad. I'm not sure, but... For now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And like I said with other ones, if I want to repurchase it, if I got maybe a bad one, I will do so. But I'm going to say goodbye to this. Next one that I have here is um, this one. This is the Saturday Skin Daily Dew um, Essence, Hydrating Essence. I adore this. It's kind of similar to the Mario Badescu ones, but it has something special to it too. I do want to do a full in-depth Saturday Skin... Um, video review so you guys can see what products I enjoy and what products I don't enjoy because it is it is a new brand. Uh, this is one that I actually really like. I haven't used it a lot recently, but I did use it a lot a few months back, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it because I do love it and I'm actually gonna spray some on my face now. So one second. Yum, it smells amazing and it has the best mist of life keeping. Okay, so this is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. A lot of people really love this. I find that when I wear this, um, it makes my face look a little bit oily. And a few of you guys actually complimented my skin when I was wearing this and you told me how dewy I looked. I thought I looked oily. I don't know, maybe it comes across different on camera. I still want to play around with this a little bit more to see if maybe there are different ways I can use it uh, so that it can look good on my skin, not like oily-ish, um, because it was super pricey and I want to see, you know? So I'm going to keep this for now, but if I find that it's just not working out for me, then I'll keep you guys posted, of course, and then I'll declutter it then, but I'm going to keep it for now. Moving on to the next product that I have here, this is the Pop Makeup Magnet Mist. Um, this is one that I'm going to get rid of. I think that this is just like mediocre. It's okay. It's nothing to go crazy about, but it's not like shit either the mist is really nice on it it's very fine and um i just think it's like it just it doesn't appeal to me you know i just don't reach for it at all and maybe it's the packaging i'm not sure but i don't, I don't use it so and plus there's like dust here can you guys see that <laughs> i don't know it's like collecting a really nice amount of a really nice layer of dust uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this maybe put it in my kit or declutter it to a friend Okay, then I have this Ofra Makeup Mist. I really, really like this. This thing is massive. There's eight ounces of product in here. I won't say that the mist is as fine as other ones that I have, but it's still really nice on the skin. I do find that it prolongs the wear of my makeup and it's gonna last me like forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Next one that I have here is this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Spray. I used to adore this so much and I still really, really like it. I find it to be pretty similar to the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. So if you wanna just get that one, it's so much cheaper. But this just, I don't know, I remember the first time I used this a few years back, I like fell absolutely in love and I just bought like constant backups without even finishing the ones that I already have, which was so silly of me. Um, I love it, I really, really do, but I just, I feel like there are other setting sprays that I have that I can get through and be okay with. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my kit or yeah, probably put it in my kit because I find that it does help extend the wear of your makeup but i just find myself for myself like on a day-to-day -day basis it's not one that i gravitate towards even though i really really do like it but for now i think i'm going to declutter this okay next one that i have here is this revlon photo ready prep set refresh mist 
huh, I don't even know. I don't even remember the last time I used this. I don't even remember if I even used this. You know what I'm saying? Like, who am I and what am I doing with my life? I think I'm gonna declutter this. This is also one that I don't gravitate towards like a lot. It's really nice, the packaging is like sleek. I like that the cap is like clear, but um, I just don't find myself reaching for, for it too much. And yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this guy. Okay, next one that I have here is this one. This is the um, Tony Moly Pure Echo Bamboo Fresh Water Soothing Mist. I used to use this a ton last year, I would say, probably around September, October time. You could see I'm pretty much halfway gone. Um, I love this. It smells amazing. It's so refreshing. I used it, like I mentioned, for a really long time and then I kind of stopped because I felt like I was using it too, too much. But um, I kind of miss it and now I'm happy that I kind of rediscovered it because I'm going to go ahead and use it. It's a pity I had like a half left and it's still really, really nice. It's kind of similar to the um, Mario Badescu ones, but it just has a different scent to it. And um, I don't know, it's just like a little bit different, but I like it a lot. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to spray some on my face. Oh my God, you guys, you guys, if you need one setting spray or spray in general in your life, get this one. Maybe even 1% more than the Mario Badescu ones. This is so good. I have four little guys left over here. So these two are from Pixie. This is the Makeup mi makeup Fixing Mist with Rose Water and Green Tea. And this is the Glow Mist with um, Argan Oil. Um, honestly, I feel like the sprays on both of them are not that good, which kind of like hurts my heart because I do enjoy the brand Pixie. But... Um, yeah, they just they just don't spray so well. Let me see one second. Okay, this one definitely sprays like shit. Let's see this one. This one sprays so much better and I actually really enjoy the scent of this more than I enjoy the scent of this. So, for that reason, I think I'm going to go ahead and... I don't know. I really want to keep both because I feel like... Let me tell you. Let me, let me, let me explain myself. Because I do like what this does for my skin. I'm not crazy about the scent. I like the scent of this better like I mentioned But I feel like just because the spray is not good on this I don't know if I want to get rid of it just because of that like other ones I will get rid of for that reason, but this one I think I want to I don't know like keep oh man. This is so tough for me um, You know, I think I'm gonna keep both of them. Just hear me out <laughs> I'm gonna keep both of them and if I find that I'm not gonna be using this one I'll let you know and I'll declutter it but um, I think I'll try to use this one on those days where I just need a little bit of a pick-me-up and I don't have makeup on. So even if it sprays just like in one shot, it's not going to ruin anything because I don't have any makeup on, you know? Um, so I'm going to keep both of these guys. Then we have this Too Faced Festival Refresh Mystical Effect Setting Spray. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I really, really like this. I think it's so adorable. It has like these like uh, this like iridescent thingy on bottom that you mix the bottle with and um, it like has this mystical effect. Um, I really enjoy the scent of this. It smells like candy, but it does not give me any headaches. I use a teensy bit. Uh, I think I'm going to start using it a bit more because I'm going to actually see what I have. So I'm going to keep this guy. All right, and then finally I have the Essence Instant Matte Makeup Setting Spray. As much as I really do enjoy this, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it just because I am one who does have um, oh, oily skin. I do have drier skin, so it kind of defeats the purpose. You know, like I'm, I have dry skin and I'm putting something that's even more drying on my face, you know? So um, I do think that if you have oily skin, this does work really well. But I think for me, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it because um, it just doesn't suit my skin type at this point in my life. So saying goodbye to that. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and count up all of them, let you guys know how much I'm going to be decluttering and how much I'm going to be keeping. So, uno momento. Okay, so in total, I had 26 setting priming sprays in general. That's like shit, girl. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of 12, which I think is a really, really good amount. So these are the ones I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. Whoa, please move over to the side and give these guys a little bit of attention. Um, and these are the ones that I'm going to go ahead and keep, and I'm going to be keeping 14. So I think I did a pretty good job. I didn't get rid of half exactly, but almost, almost half. Like it's kind of getting me a little bit nervous. Maybe I should just take one more out right now. Um, no, 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 no. I really, really want all of these. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I, I think it was still pretty like badass, hardcore, like no games being played style. Uh, definitely let me know down below um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.